Hi everybody. How are we going to safeguard ourselves if someone try to cheat us? How can we be smart? Who is at fault? The person who cheat us or we getting cheated? Who is at fault? The entire world says the person who gets cheated is at fault. If you are smart enough, you can never be cheated. But what happens, especially in business, we have seen many people incurring loss financially and also in relationship and friendship. Many people lose their peace of mind. So what to do? How can we be smart? We cannot keep suspecting each and everyone, whoever shows concern towards us. But we have to be cautious if someone shows extra concern without any reason. They may show concern Number one, to get some information from us or to put us into trouble. Many a times it happens, but of all these people, definitely there are good people who show real concern towards us. So it is our smartness to identify who is true person who is our well-wisher and who is not true, who try to pull our legs. We cannot blindly believe anything or anybody in this world. And we cannot all the time keep suspecting anything or anybody also. So it is our ability to improve this smartness to identify the reality and the fake. Sometimes in school, the students get cheated with their friends, by their friends, or at workplace due to ego and positional power or greediness. Our own colleague may cheat us. And most of all, I see some business people getting cheated with a wrong promises. And one more thing, the business secrets will be stolen by the employees and the business owners may get cheated. And vice versa, some employees may also be cheated by the owners. Everywhere it happens. So one has to be really, really cautious. And if we lose our money, I think we can earn. But when we lose our peace of mind or a good relation with good people, that cannot be earned back. So we have to be really, really careful on identifying people who are true and who are fake. We used to hear a lot of stories when we were small children. Our grandparents have told so many stories, but all those stories have a message. Sometimes we forget to take the message and we just listen to those stories. For example, a very simple, well-known story of a crow and a vada. An old woman was frying vada 
and she is keeping all those vadas in a plate because she has a shop where she is going to sell those vadas first thing is she fries all the vadas and keeps on the plate and she is not taking care of those vadas so secure it from the animals and birds so she keeps it open a crow saw this from the tree and it was so mouth watering to see those vadas crispy on the plate and the crow was waiting for this old lady to get distracted and it takes one vada in its beak and goes back to the branch of the tree and sitting there to eat the fox came there saw the crispy vada in the beak of the crow and the fox wanted to take that vada from the crow so it thought of a plan only when the crow opens its mouth or the beak the vada will fall and fox can carry that and run away how to make this crow open its beak that was in its mind so it started talking good about the crow the fox was appreciating the crow for the way it looked it was praising the crow saying you're so beautiful your beak is so beautiful everything of you is so beautiful and i believe if you sing a song even that will be very beautiful why don't you try singing a song immediately crow did not think anything about it at that moment and it got melted away by the praises of the fox and it opened its mouth immediately the vada fell from the crow's beak and the fox took away the vada and drag the crow started blaming the fox for cheating it my dear ladies and gentlemen what do we understand from this story or what message we get i get two messages from this story one the old lady put in her hard work and she made the vada delicious vada but she was not smart enough to protect them the crow was smart enough to cheat the old lady and take away one vada but not smart enough to understand the trick of the fox and the fox was smart enough to take that stolen vada from the crow and the crow started blaming the fox so here we found that the old lady was not smart enough to protect that is one lesson and the second lesson is crow cheated the old lady and the cheated crow was cheated by a fox how can the crow blame the fox because the crow also did the same thing while it took away the vada from the old lady i hope you people understand what i am trying to say when we cheat somebody we should also remember that someone else will come to cheat us whatever we do we get back so my dear ladies and gentlemen never think negative or harm to anybody because the same thing will come back to you through someone in your life maybe now or later not only to fear for that but also to be a human let us not harm anybody everybody has come to this universe to live their life let us allow everyone to live their life and let us live our life sincerely truthfully with the abilities given by the almighty let us not think of even cheating anybody when we do that 
we are cheating the Almighty and losing the trust of everybody. Stay blessed.